One of Origin 2016's exciting new features is its introduction of apps, extensions that can be independently created, installed, and modified by users on Origin Lab's redesigned file exchange. One of the first to be released is the new Maps Online app, allowing users to easily add maps from public databases such as NASA, the World Health Organization, the Bureau of Land Management, and others. In this brief video, we'll be learning how to use this app to superimpose a map on a set of geospatial data. Here we have a plot of 2014 earthquake data showing the location and intensity of earthquakes for that year, including the Iquiqua event in Chile. Let's add a world map to this graph. Click on the Maps Online app to toggle its dialog window. On the left-hand side of the dialog, you'll see drop-down menus for map sources, layers, and styles, as well as inputs for the area of interest and map resolution. For this example, let's select the NASA dataset, the blue marble, and select the Next Generation Topography and Bathymetry layer, also known as NG underscore TB. You'll notice that the area boundaries have adjusted to reflect that that map's data is available for all latitudes and longitudes. Clicking the Preview button allows us to view our map, and after clicking OK, we can see it's been added to the background of our plot. This is just one simple way this app can be used for sets of geospatial data. In our next example, we have a table with a series of mean monthly temperatures for cities all around the continental United States. This data has been run through a k-means cluster analysis in order to partition it into discernible groups. In this case, five different clusters based on climate trends. A resulting k-means analysis report displays a map with the latitude and longitude data for our cities as well. While the overall shape of the United States is obvious, let's add a map of the state boundaries to support our data. Going to the Maps Online tool, let's set our map source to the Bureau of Land Management's web service, which automatically adjusts our area of interest to the maximum extents of this geospatial data. To display only the area our temperature data covers, let's enter the values of our axes in the area inputs. After confirming boundaries, click OK. As you can see, with the addition of our map, the layer has been automatically resized to the correct aspect ratio, and our data points are correctly displayed over the borders of the different states.